Hello tennis guys and welcome to my channel. So the boom 2024 tennis rackets from Het are here and I'm super excited about this new version because I really like the first generation of the boom when it came out. I believe it was in 2021 or 2022, late 2022. Not sure that I remember this correctly, but what was, uh, I would say, uh, brand new, not only for the, let's say, for the new series, for the boom rackets, but also for the head series, was the auxetic technology that was there for the very first time with the boom rackets and all the other versions and all the other, other models from the other, other series receive the auxetic 2 update and now we are seeing this let's say in the reverse so the auxetic 2 technology is there injected finally also for the new boom uh rackets 2.0 let's say and before i go into the specs of the of the, all the versions and of the interesting let's say new your new they are not new but they are a little bit different, the models, some of them. Uh, we will talk about the Auxetic 2.0 technology because there has been some information that this technology isn't really that, I would say, uh, interesting in the point of uh, innovation, let's say. But let's, let's go through it from the uh, head catalog point of view so what is the auxetic 2.0 technology so as you can see the new technology is now inserted also let's say to the throat section uh, sorry not only to the throat section of course it was there previously with the uh, version one but now it is also injected i need to move it a little bit down here also in the end of the handle so you can expect some interesting feel some interesting connection and i have to say that the boom rackets or the rackets let's say overall with the auxetic 2.0 technology now seems to me they are more complete because before it the tech that was just here let's say kind of you kind of felt that it works here in this position it gives the extra energy and so on but was there any better let's say connection to the frame i i wasn't really sure about that i like that feel that unique feel but now with the auxetic 2.0 the let's say connection starts in the handle right here so I think it's an improvement. It's not a major change. It's just an improvement. Uh, the thing, what, I, what I'm a little bit, let's say, skeptical about this technology or the overall development of, let's say, tennis rackets in general, and this counts not only with, the, with this type of racket or with the Boom series or with HAT particularly, that's the fact that these companies they plan years and years ahead so when they have released the auxetic technology they already knew two years three years before that they will also put it there in the handle they just leave the idea like uh yeah like in general like an update where you have for example uh pc games or or console games that now the companies just develop those games with with hidden ideas for the next updates and uh, and paid content then the dlc and so on as you can see i'm also a huge huge computer game pc game fan so i know no quite a bit about this stuff so these companies plan ahead they don't release the best of the best immediately they release it in slight pieces it's very thoughtful it's a very marketing oriented we we hate it 
as consumers, but it is how it is. So the auxetic is engineered uh, uh, with, uh, with a unique experience compared to the non-auxetic construction due to their internal properties. Auxetic construction expand when a pull force is applied and contract when squeezed. So that's the major interesting fact about the auxetic and the auxetic is in use all not only in tennis rackets this idea came from a completely different segment so the auxetic tech you can google it just works also in other uh, let's say places the tennis rackets are not first um, uh, products let's say that use this type of technology it's, it's a world known thing it's a quite a big thing in the tech industry so the bigger the applied force the bigger the auxetic reaction the auxetic cage means you feel the impact right when and where the action happens it is the ultimate connection between player and the racket that's that's all all the same let's say uh propaganda or let's say the same info that other companies trying to push uh to our minds so we happily buy the new products uh there is also the graphene inside uh for me the most important thing is whether it kind of works where you whether you can feel it uh so the graphene inside is basically it's a graphene 360 plus or any any type of similar technology so it is strategically positioned in most of our rackets graphene strengthens the frame provides greater stability and optimize energy transfer from racket to ball when you buy your next racket be sure it has graphene inside of course when you buy a head racket the graphene inside will be there to please your hand so now you can see where it is located and there is also the info about the auxetic cage this is the revolutionary carbon structure within the end grip utilizes the auxetic 2.0 technology for the ultimate connection between you and your racket giving a feel like never before so i wouldn't say it gives you feel like never before uh, I think it just gives you a different type of maybe emotion, different type of vibration, different type of information that goes through the frame. Uh, maybe we didn't feel felt that type of um, uh, communication with the frame before but i believe it it doesn't it doesn't really mean that it is the best of the best it is just a different type of connection and the good thing is that whenever i grab the rackets from head i can totally feel i can recognize those rackets they have this wooden sound in them since i would say graphene 360 graphene 360 plus so since then, it's for the last six, six years that those rackets really changed, I believe, dramatically in favor of uh, nice, pure, uh, uninterrupted type of feel, which in some versions and in some models like the Extreme Series is very very vivid is very clear you can really recognize those rackets and as for example with the speed series you can feel that the racket feels kind of more stable more complete it's not that flexible it's not the the, the type of racket that kind of tries to teach you new things it just wants to uh communicate with you the way it's uh it, it it makes sense for you let's say in that moment so it's not something that is going to uh open uh, your let's say secret uh hidden hidden path or something like that it just kind of improves with you so you need to also improve to kind of benefit from uh from this new type 
of feel so it's not like an automatic a thing so when when people when people grab new racket they sometimes think in into the future like when i buy this racket this racket will open a completely new uh, realm of tennis for me this happens only when you are able to open it yourself when you are able to develop that key for the uh, better version of you so there is nothing automatic that is there is nothing that goes really uh, easy in terms of the performance and improvements in your tennis so let's go to the racket itself so we have there also the control power index the technologies the, the 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 technologies that are for all the rackets it's nice to see it so if you look at the booms the booms are there with the explosive playability and i want to spend some time to uh reflect on the fact that in my opinion the boom rackets were that released the first version was released they were absolutely badly uh, marketed by head itself they were marketing the racket as a racket that will give you insane amount of power insane amount of energy and people were surprised including myself that those rackets are actually quite low powered they are more similar to the speed series as as to an, any other series so the boom for me personally is a little bit easier version of the speed with a different head shape and with a bigger sweet spot but the feel the type of energy they give you it's on par with the speed series so it's a quite low powered record and you need to hit hard with the racket to actually gain something from it and the best thing about the boom is that you can go boom your shots can go boom your swing can go boom you can swing as crazy as hell and the shots go in that's the amazing thing about the booms when you do the same sometimes with the speed you don't have the control you don't have the you know have the uh easiness you don't have the, uh, I would say that the spin, the spin potential can be also a little bit better with the with the boom because it is wider up in the head, uh, where is the sweet spot? So the racket uh, is a little bit wider there. It kind of mimics the Yonex racket uh, head head shape, the isometric head shape. So yeah, you can get a very nice spin and depth from this racket but you need to try hard you need to swing hard and the benefit of it is that you can do it without any worries because the rest is on the racket which somehow manages to uh, put the ball into the court almost every time and you can really go through the your shots dramatically so now let's move to the version so you can see that there are as you can see in this picture two color options da -da -da. so that's the new thing that they are coming out with the alternate colors so the boom alternate that's the big thing and it's there for the boom mp boom mpl and boom team l so there you have this big type of reveal i don't know if it was already published online if anybody talked about it online maybe yes maybe no i don't know i didn't really follow a lot uh, about the release of the booms but let's go through the technology and for uh, let's go through the versions so the boom records fun just got even more explosive explosive but the explosion comes from you not from the record itself uh, power and confidence come easily with the second generation of the explosive fun-loving boom you don't have to think about anything but enjoying the moment with the boom exactly that was something i wrote in my check review for the boom records 
uh, several years ago that you don't think and you don't have to worry when you play with these rackets. Just enjoy the tennis. And that's the pure sensation. And I believe the booms are better than the clash rackets from Wilson. That's just my opinion. They have more performance in them. They have more that you can do with the racket. Not that the racket is doing for you. So you can do more than, for, for example, than with the clash rackets. So you can enjoy the moment with the boom, which is the new Auxetic 2.0 technology for enhanced sensational feel, making this racket series even easier to play with. Hmm. So we have the directional drilling. It was there before morph beam. It was there before power grommets. It was there before uni pattern. It was there before, and of course, uh, the only, the really the only brand new thing is the Auxetic 2.0 and that's it that's it it's the same good same good old story so what what are the models what are the versions so you can of course expect the boom pro and guys the broom the boom pro is an excellent choice for intermediate men and some let's say advanced men Two, because the head size is just 630 square centimeters or 98 uh, square inches that's the beauty of it the frame is just 22 millimeters so it's a quite th nice thin beam the weight is 310 it feels heavy nope it's not because the balance is 310 and the string pattern is 16 by 19 of course for a great spin potential so these parameters are perfect for that intermediate and let's say adv advanced men just if you are a man who just wants to get the great sensation and also the best possible performance out of uh, uh, I would say out of uh, one of the most modern tennis rackets on the market just grab the boom pro many of you ask me the question should I go should I go boom MP or boom pro and my only my only question is uh, most of the times is are you male or female if you are male just grab the boom pro it's great it's awesome and if you want to develop into a more advanced tennis player just grab the boom pro or of course you can start with the boom MP if you are men too but I believe that you will benefit more from the heavier frame than, than from the lighter 295 gram MP version which has a little bit thicker beam 24 millimeters for a greater easy power but you of course lose the control because the head size is the classic 645 square centimeters or 100 square inches the balance is uh, insanely balanced to the hand. Once again, 315 millimeters for a, such a, let's say, uh, easy uh, frame, 295 gram frame. It gives you super maneuverability, outstanding maneuverability. So that's the record, I would say, for the lower intermediate men, up to intermediate men or juniors or... Uh, or um, let's say uh, yeah juniors juniors great records for juniors too but mainly for ladies for the intermediate and advanced ladies just great record i have one uh one of the my students let's say that is she's about 50 55 she, she, she switched from the pure drive racket from the regular 300 gram pure drive to the boom MP and she absolutely adores the racket. She loves it. She's capable and able to play with the MP version a lot better in a more constant way than with the pure drive because with the pure drive 300 gram when she had a good day she was fabulous with the racket. When she was let's say tired from the work or from any other activity it was bad the experience was bad with the pure drive because the pure drive demolished 
her with the higher swing weight. But the Boom MP you can hit with the racket for four hours, five hours in a row and you will never get tired. That's the fantastic thing when you have such a light racket with such an easy balance to the hand. And if you want to have an even more easy hitting, even more sensation, with even more easy power, then there is the Boom MPL. So it's a 24 millimeter beam is the same way like with the MP. It's the 645 square centimeters or 100 square inches. But the, but the weight is 270, super easy, super light to your hand. But of course, what is different is the balance is a little bit more to the head. But still in this weight category, it is well balanced to the, let's say, to the head. If you, if you kind of compare it to the uh, standard uh, balance for this type of racket or for this type of uh, weight. So this racket would be, would be great for lower women, lower intermediate women, lower intermediate men, even some decent seniors, uh, juniors, uh, chi also some children who are transitioning from, uh, from a child, child racket to a regular one. So, so this can be a nice option for the children who are planning to play some tournaments and now we have the two uh let's say most easy hitting i would not say playing most easy but easy hitting with the biggest sweet spot records and that's the boom team 2024 the cpi is 800 so it gives uh, one of the highest power easy power from all of the records the beam is once again a little bit thicker wider 25 millimeters that gives you more stability you can expect that the racket will be stiffer stiffness means more power nothing wrong with that guys don't be afraid of it as i told you so 660 square centimeters or 102 square inches a little bit bigger head size for the more comfortable sweet spot and in this case where the head shape is you know the head shape is like uh, I want to draw the head shape is like this is wider here up in the here and once again wider and it goes like that so it it gives you this big sweet spot in the in the uh, higher area of the head you know this is the throat this is the throat of the racket okay i don't know if i'm i'm doing it completely wrong you know you know that this is a uh, wrong wrong design <laughs> please don't copy this design so the sweet spot is higher the sweet spot is somewhere here and that gives you the extra let's say amount of energy from uh this type of head and of course the spin potential is also greater because it's the widest spot here so you know you can really generate you can really uh, make the strings move and snap very nicely with this type of head shape so let's go to the weight the weight is 275 gram so it's a little bit heavier than the MPL version. And of course, there is also a higher balance. So you can expect that the boom team actually has a higher kind of swing weight, has a loads of power. You know, bigger head, uh, five more gram than the boom MPL, uh, five more millimeters into the head. So the balls will fly from this record. You will lose control. Of course, the bigger head, head size, but you will gain a massive sweet spot and a lot of energy from this one. And last, we have the Boom Team L. Great records for, I would say, really for seniors, for the pure amateurs, for some weekend warriors, for people who just don't want to worry absolutely about anything. The CPI is 900. 
So it's the top of the game uh, when we talk about the free power. It's 26 millimeter beam, wide, thick, super stable beam that helps uh, people with not so good technique, I would say, the stiffer hands, the stiffer hand players. So if you have a stiffer hand, you need also a stiffer racket because people with stiff hand, people who have worse uh, technique, they don't know really how to play with rackets with low flex. So that's why they need a racket with a stiffer beam. The, the, the beam kind of mimics the stiffness of the hand, right? So they, it, is, it is a little bit better for people who just learn the technique to have such a thick beam that will help them to generate the power a little bit more. The head size is humongous. It's 690 square centimeters or 107 square inches and the weight is just 260 gram super lightweight racket but with a uh, balance 340 millimeters that goes more to the head and the one more plus is the 695 millimeter length so it's not 27 inches it's seven it's 27.4 inches and this extra 0 0.4 inches will give you once again an extra plow an extra power uh, you kind of reach more you can stay f a little bit more behind the ball and still you reach the ball the sweet spot is more uh, uh, outside of your let's say of your hand so once again it generates a tremendous free power so it, it kind of just you know you kind of need only to block the balls let's say you don't absolutely need to swing through with the boom team l record and great for beginners as i said seniors and pure amateurs who just want to kind of uh, try the game for the very first time let's say so we have the regular versions and then oh sorry then there are the alternates as i said the boom mp 2024 alternate boom mpl alternate and team l alternate no boom pro alternate and no boom regular team alternate and no boom yeah boom pro and boom uh, team regular alternate are there not and i believe this is a great uh addition because i would say that this alternate version is great for women and the regular one is great for men let's say and i believe that more companies should follow the trend they should release rackets right away with two cosmetics with three cosmetics and so on and so on as wilson offers let's say some custom cos customization through their website but i think also the retailers should have the possibility to sell let's say two more or one more cosmetic version or even two more cosmetic versions because not not every design is really well done in some of the new generations of the records that come out and sometimes people just don't buy the record because of the design but anyway they would they would really like to play with with those records but they just don't like the design so they don't buy it so yeah so guys, we are at the end of the explanation of the new Boom series 2024, the second generation of the, I would say, one of the most underrated tennis rackets on the market or probably ever made because they are some, there are some hidden, hidden uh, features of these rackets that that people are kind of some people are disappointed by the, by the booms and some people are surprised and i believe uh mostly the more advanced players are actually surprised how well the boom rackets play and some of the lower 
uh, lower players, lower uh, advanced or lower intermediate players are sometimes disappointed that those rackets actually don't have the free power that they expected. They have more control and more precision and more more of the classic performance of the let's say speed series than they expected so booms are not clash records guys so th they are rather something between mm, I, I would say a really completely new record and the speed series so as i said i call them baby speed the baby speed record so guys Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments, what do you think about the Boom series? Is it a gimmick record? Is it a, is it a real thing? Is it something you would like to try? And why? Do you have any info from your friends who play with these records? If it changed something for them when they, when they play with the record? If the joy is maybe higher with this record than with other records? If the easiness that gives you the, the, the bigger sweet spot, that gives you the confidence, is there to kind of make the stress from uh, bad days on court, makes the stress a li little bit disappear. Because as I, s as I told you, when I review those records, the first generation, I was like, the boom record is there to enjoy the tennis. It's not there to uh, push you. It's just there to enjoy it the way you want and the way you feel right now on the court. So that's the amazing thing about the boom. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your great comments, for your constant support. Uh, thank you that you are watching my long 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 very very long videos thank you you are watching despite i'm talking too slow for some of you but that's the way it is and it's just me i'm just a tennis guy i'm just a czech tennis guy from the czech republic so guys thank you so much for watching and if you want to support my channel you can do it by three things you have three options you can click the super thanks button which is below every video this is the let's say the easiest thing to do then there is the buy me a coffee platform that is also very easy to do and then there is the paypal option which is probably for me the best option because i receive directly let's say 100 percent of your donation there are no let's say secret hidden fees that goes to the companies uh, that you know when you do the super thanks button on youtube it like 30 percent goes for uh, goes to the youtube and i receive just 70 percent or something like or 60 i don't i'm not sure about that so if you support me like that you can ask me a question and the question can be related to tennis rackets tennis balls tennis string tennis elbow tennis dampeners swing weight you name it uh over grips uh, main grips leather grips i don't know you name it really anything tennis related and i will do my best to give you the best possible uh answers so you can improve your knowledge you can improve your tennis and you can have fun on the court like never before so guys thank you so much for watching uh, enjoy tennis play tennis every time every day watch tennis every time every day and as always don't forget to enjoy the maneuverability bye guys you can't be serious man you cannot be serious that ball was on the line